Hello, and thanks for using TickBoom. Here a student has sent through a question that reads, if z is equal to cos theta plus i sine theta, show that z minus z to the negative one is equal to two i sine theta, and hence find an expression for sine to the five theta in terms of sine five theta, sine three theta, and sine theta. Now this is quite similar to a previous question I got um, with the only difference being that in the previous question we were finding things in terms of cos theta, um, but now in this question we're focused on sine theta. But you'll see that the techniques are quite similar. So to start we'll, we'll let z equal cos theta plus i sine theta, which is our classic definition of a complex number. Um, the first thing we're asked to show is that um, z minus z to the minus 1 is equal to 2i sine theta. So let's go about showing how that works. So if we take our definition of z, we'll get z minus z to the negative 1 is equal to cos theta plus i sine theta minus cos negative theta plus i sine negative theta. And that's just using De Moivre's theorem, where you take the exponent and you put it into the uh, angle. So that can then simplify to cos theta plus i sine theta minus cos theta minus minus, which means plus i sine theta. And how we've got there is using cos of negative x equals cos of x and sine of negative x equals negative sine x. So it's using those identities that let us simplify these cos and sine negative thetas. The two cos thetas cancel and we've got two of these i sine thetas. So that's how you get to your two i sine theta as required. Now from there we're asked to show or, or to find some function of sine to the five theta and show what that is. So we want to, to find sine to the five theta in terms of sine of 5 theta, sine of 3 theta, and sine of theta. Now, I think what we can do here is we can take this result and put it to the power of 5 because that will get us a sine to the 5 theta. And then if we take this result and do it to the power of 5 and expand it, I think we'll get a series of um, z to the 5, z to the cubed, and z to the 1, which will allow us to use this result with higher powers. So maybe what I'll do before we do that is just prove that this result actually can be expanded for higher powers. So if we said z to the n minus z to the negative n, using a very similar technique we'd get is from De Moivre's theorem, cos n theta plus i sine n theta minus cos negative n theta plus i sine negative n theta. From there we can use similar approach to simplify. We'll get cos n theta plus i sine n theta minus cos n theta minus of a minus, so plus i sine n theta using these results. So we can cancel those and we get to 2i sine n theta. And I think that more general result is going to help us when we're dealing with these 5 thetas and 3 thetas. So now that we've got the general result, I think we're ready to go. So we could say 2i sine theta to the power of 5 is equal to 
z minus z to the negative 1 to the power of 5. So all I've done there is taken each side and put it to the power of 5. Over here on the left hand side we'll get 2 to the power of 5, so we get 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. i to the power of 5 would be i times i squared times i squared. The i squared times i squared would just be negative 1 times negative 1, which is 1, so we'd just be left with i. And then we'll get sine to the 5 theta. And here, I think to expand this to the power of 5, it will help to first put it in this form, z minus z to the negative 1 times z minus z to the negative 1 squared times z minus z to the negative 1 squared. That's the same as to the power of 5 because we've got 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. So now if I go about, first I'll expand the squares, that's easy enough. So we'll get z minus z to the negative 1 times first 1 squared minus twice the product, minus 2z, z to the negative 1, plus the last 1 squared, to the negative 2. And this will just be the same, so I'll write it out again, z squared, minus 2z, z to the negative 1, plus z to the negative 2. And just to help, it's worth noting z times z to the negative 1, just simplifies to 1. So really what we've got here is z minus z to the negative 1, z squared plus z to the negative 2 minus 2, z squared plus z to the negative 2 minus 2. Now I think we should keep expanding because we don't yet have powers that we want. We've got to the power of 2, but we want things in terms of the power of 5, to the power of 3 and to the power of 1. So let's keep expanding. So we'll get z minus z to the negative 1. And let's expand this bit. So we'll get z squared times z squared is z to the 4. z squared times z to the negative 2 will just simplify to 1. Minus 2z squared. Now if we go here, z to the negative 2 times z squared will simplify to 1 z to the negative 2 times z to the negative 2 will be z to the negative 4 minus 2 z to the negative 2 and then we'll get minus 2 z squared minus 2 z to the negative 2 and then negative 2 times negative 2 is plus 4. And so if I just um, kind of bring some of these common items together, we'll get z minus z to the negative 1 times z to the 4 plus z to the negative 4. So we've dealt with those two. In terms of z squareds, we've got a negative 2z squared minus 2z squared, which would be minus 4z squared. So we've dealt with those two. And then we've got a minus 2z to negative 2, minus 2z to negative 2, so minus 4z to the negative 2. So that's those done. And the only thing left is the plus 1, plus 1, plus 4 is plus 6. Now we can expand this bracket in, into here. So we'll get, first of all, z times z to the 4 is z to the 5, which is a good sign because we're getting a power of 5 plus z times z to the negative 4 is z to the negative 3, another good sign, minus 4z cubed, minus 4z to the negative 1, plus 6z. So that's expanding the z through. Now we'll do the negative z to the negative 1. So we'll get minus z cubed, We'll get minus z to the negative 5. We'll get plus 4z. We'll get plus 4z to the negative 3. And then we'll get minus 6z to the negative 1. So hopefully I haven't made any mistakes in there. Now if we simplify that, 
we will get our z to the 5 minus z to the negative 5. That stays 2. Now in terms of the z to the 3's, we've got minus 4z cubed minus z cubed, which is minus 5z cubed. So that deals with the z cubes. We've got z to the negative 3 plus 4z to the negative 3 is plus 5z to the negative 3. So that deals with those. In terms of the z, we've got 6z plus 4z is plus 10z. And then the z to the negative 1s, we've got minus 4z to the negative 1 minus 6z to the negative 1 is minus 10z to the negative 1. And if we just put that into our powers of 5, our powers of 3 and our powers of 1, we get z to the 5 minus z to the negative 5 minus 5 z cubed minus z cubed, oh z to the negative 3, sorry, we've got a minus and minus there, and then plus 10 z minus z to the negative 1. And now that we've got um, this expansion in this format, we can very easily use our general result to get things in terms of sine 5 theta, sine 3 theta and sine theta. So I might just turn over to do that. So what we'll get is we'll get 32i sine to the 5 theta. That was the left-hand side. The right-hand side would be 2i, this z to the 5 minus z to the negative 5 would become 2i sine 5 theta. The minus 5 z cubed minus z to the negative 3 would be minus 5 times 2i 3 theta. So minus 5 times 2i sine 3 theta. And then the plus 10z minus z to the negative 1 would be um, plus 10 times 2i sine theta, which is the original result we got. So plus 10 times 2i sine theta, so we're looking quite good here. Um, now we can just do a few more simplifications to get sine to the 5 theta by itself. Um, the first thing I can see is that all these i's can cancel, they can all go. Um, I'll just do some of these multiplications. So we get 2 sine 5 theta minus 10 sine 3 theta plus 20 sine theta. Now we just want to divide out the 32. So we'll get our final result sine to the 5 theta equals 2 on 32 or 1 on 16 sine to the 5 theta, minus 10 on 32, I could um, divide both of those by 2, so we get minus 5 on 16, sine to the 3 theta, and then 20 on 32, I could divide both of those by 4, so I get plus um, 5 on 8, sine theta. And I think that's the result. Now, uh, it's possible that I've made some arithmetic errors here. I don't think I have, but that's where all the risk is in this question, that in the process of doing this expansion, you kind of make an error. Um, hopefully I haven't, but, but you can hopefully follow along and, and be my checker and check that everything's been okay. Um, once you get there, then again, maybe you make a mistake bringing the 32 over. Hopefully I haven't. I'm just not the best at mental arithmetic, but I think this looks okay. So you basically get this result. And I think the key to this question, the, the crux of it, is taking this result that you were guided to do, the z minus z to the negative 1, and having the, uh, I guess, mathematical imagination to go, well, what is that in general? What is the z to the n minus z to the negative n, knowing that that's then going to help you um, to get things in these terms, as the question asks. So it kind of gives you a hint, but it might not have been particularly obvious to everyone that, that 
the sine to the five theta is kind of hinting you need a more general result. But once you get there, it's really just being very careful with your arithmetic and your expansion and making sure your exponents are kind of dealt with properly. And then you get, you get um, the expansion into a format that um, allows you to use this general result. And then we get our final result being this. So hopefully that, that's all uh, made sense. And uh, tick boom.